What's up guys? Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to get TNT run for your Minecraft server. This is for 1.6.2 and any other version below will not work. So just download this plugin, it's in the description. Drop it in your plugins folder, start your server up, and here we go, we'll set up the plugin. So make sure to have an arena with however many floors you want and make sure just just have it however whatever blocks you want to make it out of it doesn't really matter so the first thing we'll do is we'll have to set our points for our arena so make sure you're in fly mode or whatever go to your first corner fly over to the top first corner any corner really but just make sure it's at the top then type slash tr setup set p1 and make sure you're looking at the block that you want to set so it has to be like this one right here and then fly all the way across go all the way to the bottom and we have to select the bottom corner so break a block so you can see the bottom corner and type slash tr setup set p2 and then now you can cover it up if you want to and now the command will type to create our arena is slash tr setup and this is where you're going to type the name of your arena any name you want I'm going to call mine test and then type create and there we go now we're going to have to link the points of our arena so slash tr setup the name of your arena, I called mine test, and then set arena. There we go. So now we're going to have to go all the way to the bottom floor and set our lose floor. This is considered the lose floor, and as soon as someone touches it, that means that indicates that they have lost. So go to your first corner, make sure you can see it. So you're going to have to break a couple blocks, and it has to be at the bottom, so right about here type slash tr setup set p1 make sure you're looking at the block and you can cover it up go all the way across go to set your second point break so you can see it and then there's our second point type slash tr setup set p2 and then there we go you can cover it up and now what we're going to type is slash tr setup our arena name and then set lose level alright it's going to change to water so whenever they hit the water that means that they have lost after your game level has been set up make sure that you have as many floors as you want go to the first corner of your floor make sure that you are able to see your corner that's very important so this corner right here look at it type slash tr setup P oh set P1 and then you can cover it up if you want fly all the way to the other corner look at it make sure you can see it and type set P2 now the command to set up your floor is actually slash TR setup the name of your arena test for me space set game level now since this is our first floor we're gonna type 1 if you have any others, you type 2, 3, 4, etc. If you, I mean, if you have more, then you keep going. This is our first one, we're going to type 1. It will lag for a little, and then it's going to create sand with TNT. Okay, so you can have as many floors as you want, like I said. So if I were to have another one, I'd just type the same command. I'd set my points first, type the same command. And instead of one, I'd have two. So that's how you set your floors. Have as many as you want. Once you're done, I'll show you what to do next. Now what you're going to do is you're going to set the time that it takes, the delay of the block. So let's say someone walks on it, that delay right there from when the block falls. So the command for that is slash tr set up the arena name and set game level destroy delay delay
wait, alright, there we go. Space, and then this is the amount of ticks. So the default is two ticks. It takes two ticks for a block to fall. So I'm just going to set mine to three. There we go. Now we can set the amount of max players. So here I set up test. And then set max players. For my max, I'm going to have 12. And then for my min, it's the same command. Instead of max, you have min. And then for my min, I'm going to have 3. So it should look like that. Or you can put whatever amount of players, minimum players you want. Hit enter. And for the vote percent, this is the amount of percentage that it takes to start the game. So slash tr set up the arena name. So it's test for me. And set vote percent. So I want 75% of my votes, and then the game will start. And there we go. So now you can set the time limit. Set up of the arena name. Then set time limit. This is the amount of seconds. So I'll go with 300 seconds. You can set whatever you want. And now is the reward. So rewards work is is however what items you have in your inventory pretty much. So I'll give my player apples. So whatever is in your inventory, you can have as many items in your inventory. And everything in here, when the player wins, all of that will be given. So just put what you want in your inventory, and then this will be given. Let's have the command slash tr set up set of the arena name sorry god why did I forget that then set items rewards and then there we go you can also have a money reward so that's basically the same command except set money rewards and then the amount make sure you have an economy plugin like vault that will be in the description and download if you want money system, reward system to work, you have to have vault. And then I'm just going to do $100. And there we go. So pretty much you are basically done now. What you have to type in now is slash tr setup the name of your arena and then set spawn. And make sure you are on the top floor. The place that you are standing, once you type that command in, will be the spawn point. Or when players join. So let's say a player joins and they'll spawn back there where I set it. Okay, so the last command, once you're done, everything, TR setup, the name of your arena, and then finish. There we go, it's saved and enabled. To work on your arena or edit it, you have to disable it, edit it, and type the command in to save it again. Now the signs work, you place down your sign, the first line will say TNT all caps except for the capital R and then UN. Make sure you have the caps as how I have it right there. And make sure it's in brackets. And the second line will say join with a capital J in brackets. Third line will say the arena name. So this is a join sign. Now we're gonna do a leave sign. So if someone wants to leave it, first line, second line, And then there you go. Make sure you, your caps are the same as uh, how I have it there. Now the vote sign, this will vote for it to start. TNT, run. And then the second line is vote with a capital V in brackets. Hit done. Oh, I forgot to put the arena name. So TNT, run. Vote. And the arena name. There we go. There you go. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. Peace out, guys.